What's up Aquarius? This is Soul. And Aquarius, this is your bi-weekly messages uh, beginning December 18th, ending on December 31st, 2017. The messages will also be for Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. All right, my fellow water bearers, I hope all is well. So, before I begin your uh, messages, Aquarius, I want to wish all of you and yours a very Merry Qu uh, Christmas. Um... Please be safe if anyone is traveling uh, to and fro or family members or friends are traveling traveling to see you. Then I'm asking for traveling mercies. Uh, with that being said, OK, let's get right into your reading. So this looks like it's pretty interesting here in terms of uh, the energy for the next two weeks. Uh, we do have the chariot here uh, showing up in the uh, reverse position. So, of course, if whenever these cards show up uh, in the reverse there's always something that is um, relative to the past chariot is uh, a completion for some of you it may be a completion of um, directly you know issues with cars someone purchasing a car could be um, yeah purchasing a car that could be a car rental, that could be a car leasing, uh, someone having, you know, mechanical issues, problems. In the reverse, that's the completion of things being repaired and restored. For the energy for the rest of us uh, this uh, upcoming uh, two weeks, it merely or primarily means that it's, you know, some of us may experience stop and go energy. Okay, some things um, move forward and then they stop all, all together. This is a general reading, so apply it to whatever it is that is significant uh, in your uh, current situation. All right. But I don't overall feel that it is anything that you need to deem it as negative. This could, like I said before, within this two week period of time, indication of if anyone was dealing with any car repairs <coughs> that this, um, you know, if it was major, minor, whatever, that it's going to be, you know, taken care of in the two week period of time. Um, three of coins, three of pentacles is following um, this chariot. So that's, you know, someone working on your car, if that's the case. This is working finances, so getting along well with others, collaborating with others in terms of projects, um, and, you know, getting the task done. Three of coins represents, um, you know, workplace attracts attraction could be a you know love affair involving a uh, attached aquarius or someone that aquarius is seeing and that person's attached pentacles representing capricorn taurus virgo male or female overall i just feel that it's related to um could be related to that energy and just getting along in the workplace environment, collaborating with others uh, and getting the job done. Okay, working well with others. The one good card that we have here is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is uh, showing up in the upright position. So, of course, it's the yes answer to any romantic question. Uh, for those who are curious and interesting and known, if uh, there's some sort of uh, uh, interest coming towards you from another person, or if there's an interest from you going to towards another person, now. It's not always written in stone, but this normally in the upright position represents a yes answer to that question. Cups represent children, so it could be, you know, the nine of cups showing up to show the energy of emotional happiness and satisfaction being surrounded by children, family members and others during the holiday season. Just having a, you know, merriment and good uh, emotional times, laughter, pleasant times. Nine of cups is showing up here for um, Aquarians in this two week period of time. I always equate this nine of cups uh, with the uh, star card in terms of its impact and its energy. Um, this also too is like um, hopes, wishes and dreams uh, being fulfilled and coming true. If this uh, chariot had been in the upright position then it would have been a more impactful reading as you know I equate this with the star card in the upright position positive things moving forward things progressing the way that you want things could still progress um but it may be a start of something and then it slows down or you know stops and then it begins again that's the energy of that chariot 
following the nine of cups this is definitely a indication for me um that there could be for singles uh someone new stepping into your life since the two of wands is in the reverse position two always represents two people for me but the most interesting thing about this two of wands is in the reverse the reverse position of a two of wands and how i read this two of wands and its energy is equated with the three of wands in the upright that things moving forward okay or a relationship coming together now it mirrors the three of coins so whether or not it's related to any relationships or attractions in the workplace environment this you know wands represent leo aries sagittarius male or female but it could be with any zodiac sign also standalone it could be um things that you have um planned in terms of goals or whatever your desires were in the past now you're ready to move forward with that you have the blessing of the nine of cups here okay which then would fulfill some sort of emotional happiness and um, yeah, happy, emotional happiness and contentment and something that yeah, and something that you're looking forward to or something that was done. I'm picking up something from someone energy from someone who has done something in the past and now they're ready to move forward with it with the two of wands showing up nor ordinary excuse me ordinarily in contrast the two of wands in the upright is about you just laying down the foundations or ideals coming to you uh in terms of goals plans that you want to um manifest and bring into your life but you're not ready at this particular point when it comes to a relationship in contrast in the upright position this is um a lack of progress or there's some sort of stagnation now because the two is showing up in the reverse that means that there's uh something that's going to move forward that you may have uh, planned in the past or it could be related to following the nine of cups of you know a relationship cups representing cancer scorpio pisces male or female two of wands representing aries leo sagittarius three of pentacles earth Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Following the two of wands is more wands energy. And then this is six of wands in the upright. This is victory and success. Okay, so there's victory and success to be had or achieved in a two week period uh, for some Aquarians that I'm reading for. This is also um, an indication of traveling, which is uh, befitting for the reading because people are going to be traveling for the holidays and if you are going to travel this six of wands in the upright is just saying that it, your traveling will be successful and there's some sort of other victory attached to this energy fire wands i'm just fire wands damn fire signs may or may not be involved okay now although there may be a trip coming up someone is uh concerned about you know being short in terms of their finances this is the five of uh, pentacles showing up it's also underneath this three of uh pentacles now this is a card of generosity it's also a strong indication of uh you know could be charity in the upright position you know you given to others others given to you maybe this is just what it means and it doesn't mean that there's some sort of financial loss uh going to take place or you know that you're experienced at this time the hand is just giving me the impression that you're either reaching out to someone and offering or someone's reaching out and offering uh something to you now it may not be a whole lot and maybe that's the whole loss thing but i don't feel that that's what it is uh entirely so whatever this five of coins means for you um this is uh this is the reason why it's showing up it could be a pay raise you know it could be a small pay raise it could be you know part of a you know christmas bonus with two coins underneath i mean two coins in direct link with each other it could be that you are getting you know a bonus christmas bonus now it may not be significant but it's still going to be some money that you know you weren't you may have been anticipating or not anticipating high priestess is following the uh, uh two of coins so this is actually uh, a pretty good card too intuition for some of you aquarians will be on point follow uh your prompts first thing that you get is the correct answer uh high priestess represents not only intuition but it also represents the energy of pisces for me 
uh, other water signs, Cancer or Scorpio. So there might be energies going on. Now, if it is, this is the number two. So it's in the upright position. And remember, I said that there could be a potential relationship that takes place. Um, or there's a formation of a new relationship because this two of wands follows the nine of cups. The yes answer to any romantic questions. And then someone achieving... Uh, emotional happiness and satisfaction again i equate this nine of cups with the star card hopes dreams and wishes becoming fulfilled all right high priestess there may be uh if there is a new relationship i could be reading uh reading for someone who is currently in a relationship and there's some sort of difference within that scope of that relationship either um races are different different races different religion Oftentimes, I, I, I pick up um, someone may have a different opinion of yours, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything dire. This is someone I feel that is con or is going to be connected, but this person is totally different than um, and it's not even anything to do with your expectations. This could be a person of a different race, different religion. They have um some you know someone could live in a different country this could be someone who lives in a different town city or state there's something different about that person though okay so that's what i'm getting for the high priestess um high priestess underneath this nine of cups that's the relationship That's the relationship about to start. Now, if I'm not talking about couples who are already in relationships, I'm not neglecting you. But I don't want to turn this general reading, which I'm trying to cover all areas and aspects of your life and not just single it out as a love reading. No, for singles, I'm just picking up that energy that there could be someone new coming in. And it doesn't mean that, you know, if you're already involved in a relationship, just know that just take the messages that I have given you. There's victory and success, the nine of cups. So you're enjoying some uh, good emotional aspects of a current relationship. Five of, uh, no, this is the seven of wands. Seven of wands ends your reading, Aquarius. And again, this is still not a card for me in terms of uh, negative energy. Uh, sometimes, you know, it feels like, you know, now it could stand to be true that some of you might be feeling like you're being, you know, attacked whether it's verbal attacked, physically attacked, or just having to, you know, defend your position on something, or there was a disagreement. Now, I'm going to use that example because it follows this high priest. When I said that there's oftentimes the energy that I get that is uh, someone has a different opinion of yours, and maybe this is the friction related to that opinion, trying to um, either you trying to get them to be on your side in terms of your thought process or vice versa. But it could be, you know, petty arguments, tick for tack kind of stuff. Juan's energy is very physical, fire, and, you know, representing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. So it could be um, exchanges with those energies, but it's not something that's going to stick around too long. So if it is related to, um, you know, having to do those uh, physical things with other people then it's just going to be something that happens and then quickly dissipates I feel though if it's because it's the fire energy it's more their energy than it is your energy so that may be the reason why if they're attacking you or you feel def you know like you're on a defense it be it's because they're coming after you more or less all right so that's what I have for you. And then, of course, it is sitting underneath the uh, two of wands. That's two people. So just be careful of that. But in overall, um, in closing your reading, Aquarius, this is still a positive two week period of time. OK, because you have the uh, six of wands, you have the high priestess, you have the uh, three of coins, three of coins, even though I always pick up, you know, possible love triangles. This is still a good card because it's a card about getting along well with others whether it's in the workplace environment or not but because it does represent finance and work then it's you possibly in the workplace environment collaborating or working well with others to get whatever it is that you're working on done all right nine of cups is here 
in the upright position. And then two of wands, something's moving forward or about to move forward, or there is a new relationship about to be formed. Okay, Aquarius, I hope this was helpful and beneficial for you. As always, it's never mandatory to look at your moon sign and your rising signs, but there may be additional information uh, in there for you. With that being said, I'm going to close this out. Wish you uh, again, Merry Christmas. Be safe until I talk to you again in the next two weeks. Aquarius, be well. Bye.